Welcome to 2.0 version of Juniper's OpenStack Neutron plugin demo. I am Rajesh Patil, part of Cloud Solutions marketing team. As you all know, overlay automation and orchestration can be easily done using tools like NSX and OpenStack. But how do we achieve the same agility and automation with underlay configuration? Juniper Neutron plugin helps to bridge this gap between virtual and physical network automation. It provides a simple end-to-end -end automation and orchestration with seamless communication between virtualized and traditional data centers. Let's look at the demo topology. In the setup, I have a virtualized data center and a traditional data center. We are using OpenStack for overall orchestration. VMware NSX is being used for VXLAN based overlay networking. And then Juniper Neutron plugin is being used for automating these physical devices, which means that whenever the VMs are being brought up, the required configuration needed for connectivity is being automatically done via Neutron plugin. MX router in middle can be used as a VXLAN layer 3 gateway for inter-VXLAN communication. QFX switches are acting as layer 2 gateway for bare metal communication, which means the switches are doing the translation between a VXLAN and a VLAN. As part of the demo, we will verify communication between RAID VM1 being able to communicate to a RAID VM2 located in different data center. Also, we'll verify communication between Grim VM in virtualized data center being able to talk to a bare metal, which is a green VM over here in different data center. First step of the demo is to create the green and red networks and verify corresponding logical switches and ports are being created in NSX. For that, let's go ahead and create those networks in OpenStack. I'm at the create network option in OpenStack. The moment I create a network here in OpenStack, Neutron will signal NSX API to create the corresponding logical switch inside NSX. To start with, let's create a red net, which is a red network with subnet ID, let's say 20, 20, 20, 0 slash 24. In a similar fashion, we'll create a green network, maybe in subnet 30 and verify in NSX. So red network got created. Let's go back and verify in NSX. So as you can see here, the moment I refresh, I can see a logical switch called rednet got created with VXLAN VNI ID, let's say 10. In a similar fashion, I have created green network with subnet 30 and a corresponding logical switch got created in NSX with VNI ID 11. Now our networks got created. Let's go ahead and create the VMs. So first we will create RAID VM 1 and 2 across two different hypervisors and we'll verify the communication over the VXLAN tunnel which is VNI 10. So let's create the first instance would be red VM1. Attach it to the red subnet. So red VM1 got created with IP address 20.2. Let's go ahead and create 
another instance which is red vm2 red vm2 got created on another hypervisor which is server 02 located in the other data center and the IP address we got is 2020.20.7. So let's do a quick ping from dot two to dot seven to make sure that they are able to communicate over the VXLAN tunnel. So we are in red VM one and we'll do the ping to 2020.20.7. And as you can see that ping is successful between red VM one and red VM two. Now let's verify VM to bare metal connectivity. I'm at my OpenStack controller console where I have already installed the Neutron plugin. Now by executing this command, I will be adding 70.233, which is the management IP of my QFX switch into OpenStack topology database. This is the IP address, which I will be using for loopback interface to reach out to my VTAP and these are the credentials. So let's go ahead and execute this command. Let's see what happened behind the scene. So after executing this command, Juniper Neutron plugin went ahead and found specific type of device. It connected to that device over the netconf and added that device into OpenStack topology database. After that, plugin also added the required CLIs automatically onto the QFX device. It went ahead and created the loopback interface for VTAP connectivity as well as also added the OVSDB related CLIs where well, this is the NSX controller and the other required commands. And finally, it went ahead and did the configuration commits. Juniper Neutron plugin also provides additional option for defining the layer to gateway service. Just like create network, we can use create L2 gateway, then specify the IP address of Juniper switch. The next thing would be a switch port where a bare metal is connected. So that would be port 42 in our case and the network. So that would be green network and the MAC address. This is the MAC address of bare metal. If we specify the MAC address, bare metal will automatically receive IP address from OpenStack. So let's go ahead and say create network. I have created a green VM with the IP address 30.30.30.10. Let's verify the connectivity from this VM to bare metal. So as we have seen from green VM, we are able to reach to a bare metal, which is 30.9 in other data center. This concludes the verification of our entire demo. To summarize, we just saw how Juniper Neutron plugin provides end-to-end -end automation and orchestration for both physical and virtual networks. For more information, please visit Juniper website and once again, thanks for watching.